Today we are addressing all of the Instacart customers who are deceitfully claiming that they have not received their groceries, that they have received the wrong items, that they have received damaged items or missing items. These false claims are resulting in deactivations and low ratings for shoppers throughout the United States and Canada. There are crucial tips that all Instacart shoppers must implement every day to ensure that we are safeguarded against these false claims from Instacart customers. We're going to talk about those tips in this video. So keep watching so that you are prepared. But quickly, hi everyone, it's Jen on the go and welcome back to this channel. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. You guys mean the world to me. Your comments, your support, your wisdom, your advice, it just, it's everything. And I'm not the only one that benefits this. It's we are a community and everyone benefits from your comments. So thank you again for not only being a part of this channel, but for being an active participant on this channel. It really, really means a lot to me and I'm blown away by your support. So thank you. If you could also hit, give this video a thumbs up as you watch because it helps this channel with YouTube's algorithm. If you are new here and you want to learn about Instacart or hear what's happening about Instacart on both ends, the customer end and the shopper end and everything in between, then this is your channel. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. That way you will be reminded every time I upload a new content video. Here we go. And I'm going to be reading my notes below so that I stay on track and I make sure I drive home the points. Um, customers who are making false claims against their Instacart shoppers is on the rise. And you guys probably already know that. You've asked me to make this video and I'm making it because this needs to be addressed. And I'm actually making this to, to create awareness in the hopes that Instacart may see this video and also customers may think twice after watching this video at the damage it does to those who are just trying to help and serve them. Um, reports of missing groceries and items is happening again to so many shoppers every single day. I personally know of several personally that this has happened to in the last two weeks. It's unbelievable. Um, and it happens without warning. So you're doing the right thing, shopping and going above and beyond every time for every single customer with the great attitude. I mean, literally jumping through hoops for these customers and bam, you get an email from Instacart stating your customer claimed that you did not deliver the groceries. And just like that, until they can investigate it, you're done. You are shut down. And for a lot of us, a lot of you, and I know this is your only income. And so we need to do whatever it takes to stop this from happening to us. And even if you can't stop it, there's ways that you can protect yourself to prove that you did deliver the groceries. Um, why are customers getting away with this? And this is a rhetorical question. It's because they can. They can. And word is out among all the Instacart customers that all you have to do is say you didn't get all of those cases of water or all of your cases of Pepsi, whatever you're getting, and Instacart will give them to you for free. In the meantime, the shopper gets the bad rating after they have hauled all that water up to your porch, all the cases of Pepsi up to your doorstep, in your garage, wherever, and then you have the audacity, the customers have the audacity to claim that they didn't receive these items. I don't know what's worse, the whole grocery order or some items. It's all the same because it's still fraud against the Instacart shopper. So they're doing it because they can and it's that simple. So Instacart, if you're listening, what's going on? What's going on? Why are you allowing customers to continually, continuously be fraudulent? over and over again to their to to your shoppers it's just not okay um but until they fix it you guys all we can do is do what we can on our end to make sure that if this does happen we know what to do and to 
do whatever we can to make sure it doesn't happen. So they're doing it because they can. It's not a matter of if it's going to happen at this point, it's a matter of when it's going to happen. Um, but when we are prepared, we can take some of that anxiety off of our plates. And usually when you are prepared, it's when it won't happen to you. But just in case it does, we have to do what we need to do to protect ourselves, right? Um, this will help alleviate the anxiety of being falsely accused and losing your income. And that's what this is all about. We need this income. Um, the rating system as it stands is designed to protect the customer, not the shopper. So we need to protect ourselves. That's why we need to do these tips. Shoppers need to stay alert and prepared so that we may just be okay in case we are accused of what the customer is stating that we're doing. Tip one, the first tip I'm going to say this, and many of you may already know this already, but if you're new out there and you haven't done this, you have to start doing this right now. And yes, there is a sense of urgency because this is your only shot. You, it is critical that you download GPS photograph tracking apps on your phone. I have downloaded two and they are both amazing. They are called the timestamp camera and the GPS camera and those are with the Apple phone. They are both free and I'm going to show you what they look like right here. So yes, those are the two apps that I have on my phone. They Again, they are both free and I do use both of them simultaneously when I drop off groceries, just in case one of them were to go down. If you don't want to use these apps, that's fine. They're just my suggestions. I never had a problem with either one of them. Make sure the app that you choose does have the address and the time and the date attached to the photo because you're going to need that for your files. So I'm sure there's other apps out there. Those are just the two that work for me and I love them both. So definitely, if you don't have those, get those downloaded tonight so that when you go cart tomorrow, you are ready to go. Um, so again, th these apps actually have the photo, the GPS location of your drop-off spot and the time. In addition to these apps, so, so you have these two apps, when you deliver the groceries, you need to take several photographs of your groceries at the drop-off location. So if they're on the front porch, it's not good enough just to back up and take one picture like that. I do about three photos of each drop, especially if there's eight, eight bags or something like that. I'll do a few different angles. And then in my area, we only use paper bags. I wish they were clear, but they're not. Um, which makes it a little harder for photographing, but I will get up and take an aerial shot. Oh yes, I will every time. And I will do individual bags every time. And if they purchase steak, I've had people put purchase like $90 worth of prime rib before. I make sure that is visible because those are the items that customers are going to claim did not get to them or they were damaged or whatever. Cause that's all it's going to take is just one ridiculous fraudulent mess of a human being to do this. It's just, oh, I'm just angry about it. Um, so make sure you take photos in both of these apps, or at least one, you have to have one of all of your groceries that you delivered. If you can't see everything in those photos, position yourself where you can, or position the groceries so that you can get everything in a clean shot. If a customer comes to the door and tries to snag them inside while you are still unloading your groceries, I, I've solved that problem for me. I know you guys might have your own system, but what I say now is, I'm sorry, I need to take a photograph of every single grocery item on your porch so that Instacart knows I did not steal your groceries. So just bear with me for three more minutes. Thank you so much, I know you understand. And it works every time because literally a lot of customer shoppers out here will say, I don't know what to do when they, they come and get the groceries before I can photograph. Don't let them. You are, you are in control of your future and your shop. So you have the timestamp app or timestamp app and your other app, use them. Take those photographs first and then you take a picture through your phone and send it to the customer. If a customer doesn't come to the door, and it's a, a non-contact, it's contactless delivery, 
then in addition to using your timestamp app and your geo app with taking photographs also send a picture of the groceries on their doorstep or in their garage or up the hill down the road wherever wherever they want you to put their groceries in the chat and when you send it, that photo to them in the chat you need to say hey mary here your groceries have been delivered to the exact location per your request thank you so much have a blessed day. It's been my pleasure serving you, whatever you need to say. That's on you. But then I screenshot that. I, so I send it to the customer through the chat and then I screenshot that as well. So now I have my timestamp photographs and that one. In addition to that, it's another step. And one more step you have to do is I always, you always navigate to the customer's house with your Apple Maps. When, I'm, when I arrive to the location, I take a quick screenshot of my locations showing that I am in that location. Literally, you need to have all of these photographs in play and in your arsenal so that when you are accused, you are gonna be ready to fire. Um, that will really help you tremendously with peace of mind and to protect yourself. In addition to that, oh no, it's not over. There's a little bit more. And this was our viewer, uh, our viewer, Anne. Anne, thank you so much if you're watching. Remember she told us about how she keeps a log? I've started doing that since she suggested that and it's helping me with peace of mind. I haven't had a problem with a customer stating I didn't deliver, but if I do, I'm going to be ready and I want you guys to be ready as well because it is happening all of, t all of the time to all of us. Um, so I then, after I get into the car, so I've taken all the photos, Get in the car, I take my little book that you get at the Dollar Tree, three for a dollar, um, and I will write in there the date. So I'll put in the date, and under like the 14th of October, I will put batch one, photo, photo, photo. I will indicate here how many photos I, I took. Batch two on that same date, photo, photo, photo. So if I took five photos, I will write a little note, five photographs taken. Um, and so on and so forth every single day. And I'll, I'll keep this, I'm going to keep this for a month and then I can discard it. Because if a customer hasn't claimed that in a month, they probably won't, but they have plenty of time to report fraud on you. Plenty of time. So make sure you do do this too. And then you're covered. Um, again, store the photos for a month at least. There was um, a, a viewer on this channel, she commented, who actually stated that she was deactivated and she was so confused because the shop support said a customer accused, accused her of non-delivery, but they weren't aware of what, what, when it happened and what date. And she said her receipts were all over the place. And um, that just taught me that unfortunately in a job like this, in a gig economy job like this, where we're at the customer's mercy, we're gonna have to go the distance to now do our back end paperwork. And it, and it, and it's, I know it's another step. It's not another step. It's another 10 steps we have to do, but it's worth it because you need to protect yourself. So we do have to do the back end work so that we are ready when we get the call, the email, sorry, that Instacart stating a customer claimed that you stole their groceries. I'm not going to get deactivated over a customer wanting a free box of cornflakes. I don't know about you, I'm not doing it. So I'm gonna do all of these things to make sure we are protected. So please do these every single day. You will get used to the extra work. It's gonna add another six minutes onto your time, but that's okay because at the end of the day, don't be a victim of this. And if you are a victim of this, just be armed and ready. Okay, tip two is when this dis if, if this does happen to you, don't wait to contact Instacart support right away with your proof of all of your photographs. Um, that's why I suggested keeping the log and writing down the batches and the date with, with your photographs. So you know if you have five photographs that you took of that house on that day, oh, don't forget the street address as well. Try to get the picture of that. But you'll know, okay, I took five photographs. You can immediately look up the date where you took them and send them to Instacart support who will then expedite that they say to trust and safety. But if you don't immediately tell your side of the story, 
the outcome will not end well for you. This is why your photographs are critical because if you don't have them, you don't stand a chance. You will be ready to send your, fo your, your photographs promptly if requested. So just be ready. And again, that will alleviate the anxi the, your, any anxiety you may have. Okay, tip three. Now customers are also scamming with replaced items. They will often place items on their shopping list that they know the store doesn't carry or will have to be replaced. In these cases, the shopper is prompted to ask the customer if they want a refund or a replacement. Generally, customers request a replacement. Then once the order is delivered, the customers will complain that the replacement wasn't correct. Then Instacart will issue refund to the customer. The customer will rate the shopper low, right? And then they will lower the tip and the, your final payout will be lower as well because of all of the, of, of the refunds. Twice this week, I had two different customers <laughs> stating they received the wrong item that they both approved. I'm, I, luckily, I didn't get a lower rating, which I can't believe they didn't do, but why did they do that? I, they approved the replacement and then they said, wrong item, wrong item. So that drove me crazy. But what I didn't do, and shame on me, I didn't screenshot the conversation where they actually they actually approved it. So I didn't have a chance. I, I submitted fraud on our ratings page and explained what happened the two dings are still there. Again, it didn't affect my rating overall, but I still have those missing or not, sorry, wrong items there. And I, they weren't the wrong items. So that drives me crazy because I, I always pride myself on doing the right thing with every customer, but I made a mistake. I didn't screenshot those conversations and I do, I like to do that every time. But you know what? I learned. Just when you let your guard down, you can't. You got to get right back up to it because as soon as we get back to the, up to the five stars, we're like, yes, I'm there again. But no, that's when you can get dinged again. So it is exhausting, you guys. It's absolutely exhausting. You know this because you're doing the same thing. But that really made me mad. So when you, when a customer shows your, if a customer has a replacement on their screen and it's one of three and you pick the first one, I just don't assume that that's gonna be okay. I, I will say, I'll take a picture of the, the item and say, this was on your replacement list. Would you like me to go ahead and purchase this for you or would you rather a refund? If I haven't heard from that customer by the end of the shop, they're getting a refund, period. Because if they can't respond because they're in a meeting or teaching a Zoom class, I get it, but I'm not going to be penalized for you not paying attention. So all the, custo all the shoppers out here shoppers, no customers that are watching this, please pay attention to your Instacart shoppers. You know when you're placing the order. So unless you want items refunded, if you don't respond, your items will be refunded because we can't risk losing our job because you're busy in a Zoom meeting while we're doing your shopping. That's not okay. In Instacart, that is not okay. Clean it up. That's all I want to say about tip three. So please screenshot your conversations with the customer approved, stating that they approved that. Um, it's just, I couldn't believe that happened to me. I'm like, are you kidding? You said to get those. What are, what are you doing? Tip four, this might be a little controversial, but it works for me. And then a few of my viewers agree down below. Um, only shop in areas that are less likely for this to happen. I call these safe zones and it makes a huge difference even if it means researching and you know driving around and finding areas that look residential or that look safe um, it might be worth your time to do that i have a couple areas where i live that i know the customers are lovely thank you so much the tips that they leave are genuine authentic you know it because i tend to frequent these places over and over again and i've never had a problem but that's because I'm very selective with where I will shop. And you should be too, especially now. Because Instacart is not going to protect you. They're only looking out for their customer, which I get. It's all about customer service. And the customer is always right until they're not. Because we are out there servicing them and we are still representing their brand. We need protection as well too. So until we get it, be very, very selective where you go. 
if you see a batch that pops up and it, it flashes before your eyes and it'll say 60 or 70 or $70 up and up, and you see a tip attached to that, which is astronomical, like crazy, a, a crazy tip that maybe you've never seen in that area, I would be leery and I, and I would proceed with caution because if it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't and it's not worth the risk. So stay in areas that you know the customers are legitimate with their tips. They're not, they're pretty consistent in where I live. You're not gonna see one tip for $100. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. Maybe it happens in a certain zip code, I'm not sure, but not where I am. Just be very careful and cautious when you're choosing the areas to shop in. Again, I call them safe zones. Do not borrow trouble by taking one of these batches that looks so great. I, I went into an area once and I thought, well, I'm gonna try this area, this is good, this one popped up, and that's fine. It was an apartment building and none of the apartments had letters or numbers on them. And I kept trying to contact the customer. I thought it was in the right place and I was not gonna leave those groceries there though. So, you know, an hour later, I'm still there trying to find the apartment number. She was in the, I thought it was in the right place. I knocked on the door. I heard her in there with her baby. She never did come to the door. So I contacted support and uh, I had to figure all that out. But it was the stress of that killed me. And until the next day where I knew she didn't ding me, I felt okay, but I took so many photographs. So I thought I would have been protected, but you never know. Um, but I noticed in a lot of those areas, that area I was in, like, why aren't the apartment numbers marked? And where, it was the weirdest thing. So I do not go to that area, even if I see a batch that might make me money, not doing it. I will be patient and I will wait for something in a zone where I call my safe zone. So stay in your safe zone, wherever that is. Um, tip five. And this is a good one. If this does happen to you and you have a customer that reports fraud on you and at the very worst, you're deactivated because they state you didn't deliver the groceries. That's the number one reason why, why shoppers are deactivated for false claims of non-delivery of groceries. And again, it's, it's just on the rise. It's getting out of control. If this happens to you and you still have provided all of the photographs, the street address, the navigation, kept your log, all of it, were able to provide all of this and the proof of this, and you still were deactivated, then you need to contact the Better Business Bureau and make a claim. Literally a shopper on, an Instacart shopper this happened to, she was deactivated, had all of her photographs lined up, very organized, they're very professional, sent them all in every day to a different person every time, was getting nowhere. Email after email, phone call after phone call to Instacart support where they know, you know Instacart support, they're just there really for the customers and not the shopper. Dead end, dead end, dead end, sorry, account deactivated. She went to the Better Business Bureau, stated a claim, uploaded all of her, all of her photographs there, proof, proof, professional. Right, just kept it clean and concise. Instacart ended up reactivating her after she stated to them, I made a claim at the Better Business Bureau. It worked. So I'm saying if you're in the situation and you can't get your account back, try that. Do whatever it takes, keep being heard. But I do have to say, if you don't have photographs, you probably are, it's probably not gonna work. That's your only chance. That really is. And even with that, it's a risk. But I was at least encouraged to say, you can go to the BBB, state a claim, and then tell Instacart, I stated a claim, because it's not okay. You're not gonna wrongfully accuse me of something I didn't do. And newsflash, cu newsflash customers, we don't want your 40 bucks worth of processed groceries. I just don't, I'm not gonna lose my livelihood. You're not gonna lose your livelihood for a customer's groceries. We're not gonna do that. And yes, I know I'm gonna get comments. There are bad shoppers out there. There are, and those shoppers do give us all a bad name. But at the end of the day, we're good. I know you guys, you are out there working so hard with integrity, with grit, with kindness, with compassion, and this is what we have to do, but we do. And you guys, I have to say this before I end this, it's only gonna get worse. 
we are approaching the holidays where people will even become more desperate and desperate people will do desperate things. And if it comes down to them feeding their family for free or making sure your side hustle is protected, they're going to choose their family. And I understand that, but not on my watch. Not today, ma'am. Not today, sir. Not going to happen. Not to me and not to you. So please let me know in the comments below your tips. I know I probably missed some. Let me know your additional advice, tricks to not get deactivated for this. What else can we do? Let's learn from each other and keep adding to this so that Instacart will pay attention, that customers might pay attention the next time they say, I better not do that. Because you know what, that person probably will lose their job if I stayed, I didn't get my cornflakes. What is going on? Anyway, let's do that. Let's just really help each other in the comments below. Thank you so much for listening and for adhering to all of these tips, which I do think is your best chance at overcoming this or making sure this doesn't happen to you. I do want to leave you with a little positivity though. You can't control what people do to you, but you can control how you let them affect you. Okay. No one has permission to take that power over you. You remember that because you guys are incredible. You're so kind, you're so hardworking. If it happens to you, as long as you're prepared, you did what you could, but they're not gonna have that power over you. So don't even get angry, just be ready and prepared. That's it. I believe in all of you guys. Stay kind, stay humble, stay hardworking, and let karma take care of the rest. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave me comments below. I wanna know your extra tips, okay guys? Have a great night. I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.